again after ladies gentle bodies. <laughs> and a very well warm come <laughs> to our chumps in Great Britain. <laughs> to the kleine babakins, and <laughs> to the mutters, and the fathers. <laughs> To the Großmutters and the Großvaters. <laughs> and when I say the Großvater, I don't mean a Großvater so, so. I mean the father of the father. <laughs> Here at the Herbert Strasser University, situated as it is in the backside of Hamburg, <laughs> we are discussing the British way of life, the British people, and getting to know you. <laughs> Sind Sie all set and comfortable ish? <laughs> then ich will begin. <laughs> the British man is very fond of ladies with the two lovely hemispheres. The lovely ladies of the two hemispheres. But you wouldn't know it because he is so shy and retiring. Uh, I give you a for instance, a young man is walking along the quayside at Cowes in the ice of Widget. <laughs> Where are sailing the yachts? Who <laughs> is he's lying on the beach? A young girl of some 17 summers and 48 winters. <laughs> with a sure and a figure, <laughs> with the kleine Sitzen and the großen Titzen. <laughs> and she is almost wearing a itsy bitsy teeny weeny bikini. She is practically knackered. <laughs> And what does he do? He says, good morning, and he goes on his way. His heart is thumping so much that his kidneys are saying, stop dancing up there! <laughs> a red corpuscle turns to a white corpuscle and says, what's everybody rushing around for? <laughs> but he says, good morning, and he goes on his way because he does not want to cockroach upon her privacy. <laughs> You are not listening! <laughs> Cockroach upon her privacy? Hen crouch upon her privacy! <laughs> you must use the feminine hen. <laughs> Do not use the masculine cock. <laughs> but you are assuming that I am speaking correctly. You must never assume because when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> but at this moment in, my, moment in time, the typical British man is probably sitting in the privy of his own home, watching this television show. <laughs> But he is very hospitable, and if you are alone in London, he will take you out to see the sights, see the horse cart parade, <laughs> the zoological gardens in a recent spark, Cleopatra's noodle, <laughs> take you to law courts where true and honest justice is dispensed with. <laughs> then he will take you to a nightclub, restaurant, champagne, supper, back to his apartment. Won't charge you anything. You can stay the night there. I know this is true. It happened to my sister. <laughs> you see? But if you drive into the West End of London by yourself, be very careful. If you park your car, they will give you a ticket. They should give you a bloody medal. <laughs> if you have a three-course meal after the meal, you will want an after-dinner mint. <laughs> you will need an after-dinner mint to pay for the bill. <laughs> if the waiter comes along at your table, tell him, piss off, cake. <laughs> Because the British have not yet conquered inflation. <laughs> we, of course, have conquered inflation, just as we conquered Poland and Czechoslovakia <laughs> and that British dictator and that British government. The real gross dumb captain. Ja, not in Poland is this yet the door. Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. Deutschland über alles. I'm sorry. I got carried away a little bit. <laughs> anyway, it's been nice being with you. Thank you, Horan, and good night. <laughs> I'm sorry.